Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to continue the series on how to calculate surface area, and we're going to look at how to find the surface area of a cone. So let's get started. So at the top of your screen, you have the formula for the surface area of a cone. It says it's pi rs plus pi r squared. So similar to the formula for the surface area of a pyramid, there's a lot of different letters and symbols here. So let me break down what each of those means. Pi is, um, obviously it's pi, it's going to be represented by 3.14 and the r represents the radius of the cone. The bottom of a cone is basically a circle, so you can have the radius of a circle. Um, and s represents the slant height of the cone. It's very similar to the slant height of a pyramid, it's basically the diagonal height. And so we're going to use that information to find a surface area. So let's get started. We have an example here that asks us to calculate the surface area. We have the formula and a diagram as well. So they ask us to calculate to the nearest square inch the surface area of the cone here that is 10 inches wide and has a slant height of 12 inches. And they say use 3.14 for pi. So in a previous video, I mentioned that basically anytime I see the statement use 3.14 for pi, it's going to be used in your formula. So keep that in mind as you see that in questions. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the information I know and we're going to see if we can figure out the surface area. So let's get started. So the cone is 10 inches wide. That means the whole cone itself is 10 inches in diameter. And you have to keep that in mind with our formula. The slant height is 12 inches. So this slant height here is 12 inches. Okay, so let's take the information we know and plug it in. So our surface area is pi, which is 3.14, times the radius. So they tell you the entire cone is 10 inches wide, which means the diameter is 10. And the radius is half of your diameter. So that means our radius is 5, and the slant height is 12, plus pi r squared. 3.14 times r squared. r is 5. Okay? So let's break this down and figure out what our surface area is. Surface area is, so 3.14 times 5 times 12. I recommend typing it out on a calculator. If you do that, you should get 188.4. And then you can go ahead and add. 3.14 times 5 is squared. Again, I re recommend typing that on a calculator. Uh, 5 squared is 25, and 3.14 times 25 is going to get you 78.5. Then you can go ahead and continue on to add these up. Surface area equals 188.4 plus 78.5 should get you 266.9. And again, we want to make sure that we fully read the question and also include our units. So in the example, they say calculate to the nearest square inch. So we have a number that's close to a whole number. In this case, we're going to round up to 267 inches. And because we're talking about area or surface area, it's always squared. So 267 square inches or inches squared. So again, when you look at finding surface area, again, take all the information you have, break it down one step at a time, plug in the information to each uh, letter that it represents in your formula, and go ahead and solve it out. If you get to tricky numbers with pi and you know, bigger numbers, I highly recommend using a calculator, um, and uh, hopefully that helps you out. Let's take a moment, I'm gonna give you an example of your own to try at home, and see if you can calculate the surface area. So I have a cone here, I've given you some dimensions. I wanna see if you can calculate the surface area of this cone. I tell you that the cone is 16 centimeters wide across the diameter, and I give you a slant height of nine centimeters. So let's see if you can calculate to the nearest square centimeter what the surface area of this cone is. Let us know what you get, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.